As we hit the new year, many make resolutions to stay in shape. And new research is revealing some surprising numbers about just how effective exercise can be in warding off the aging process. Dr. John LaPook is with one group that is living proof. For anyone who thinks they're too old for exercise, meet the ladies of the Louisiana Tigerettes. My name is Mavis Albin. I'm 75 years old. Loretta Hill, and I'm 72. Nikki Leader. I'm the baby of the group. I'm 65. The Tigerettes have won seven gold medals at the U.S. Senior Olympics, and in a style that might not be considered very grandmotherly. What do the other teams say about you? Somebody says, who are you playing? They yes. say, you're playing the Cellar and Tigerettes. They say, oh, no. <laughs> Get her face! The team has bulldozed its way to a record of 195 wins against only five losses. That's remarkable, but it isn't their biggest accomplishment. I think I'm more toned. I think my posture is better. I sit up straighter. I keep my mind active and my body active. And that keeps me young, and I think it makes me look younger. When you look in the mirror right now, what do you see? Hot. Yeah. <laughs> they reject the notion that becoming frail over time is inevitable. And there's new science to back them up. It's really uh, amazing data that tells us we don't have to age in the way that our parents did, perhaps. Pittsburgh orthopedic surgeon Vonda Wright says it used to be assumed people lose 8% or more of muscle mass every decade after 40. That can cause loss of strength, mobility, and balance. But when Wright studied very active seniors, she found exercise seemed to be protective. These MRI images show how fat, seen here in white, can infiltrate the muscles of a sedentary senior. Compare that with this MRI from a 74-year-old triathlete, which looks very similar to one from a 40-year-old. 